एस वाई बी एस सी मैथमेटिक्स प्रैक्टिकल ऑन द सब्जेक्ट कैलकुलस ऑफ सेवरल वेरिएबल्स एंड द प्रैक्टिकल बेस्ड ऑन द मैक्सिम सॉफ्टवेयर सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल यूज मैक्सिम सॉफ्टवेयर टू ग्राफ द फंक्शन यूजिंग वेरियस डोमेन्स एंड व्यू पॉइंट्स सो एंड द फोर एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवन बट वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर ओनली द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सो हि द गिवन फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाय स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर सो आई एम राइटिंग हि एफ ऑफ एक्स वाय इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाय स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर सो दिस इज द गिवन फंक्शन एंड नाउ वी आर यूजिंग द कमांड डब्ल्यू एक्स प्लॉट थ्री डी for the given function f of x y uh, and the range of x axis uh, x is a minus 3 to plus 3 and the range of y axis is a uh, minus uh, y is uh, variable y is a minus 3 to plus 3 and now you can see this is the graph of the given function x y square to minus x square you can change the domain also you can write here minus pi to plus pi and you will get the different uh, okay you will get the uh, plot of the given function in the given range so the next example uh, draw a co counter map to the function showing or uh, several level curves so the i am uh, going to solve this example for level curve uh, for one say this is z so the level curve what is the level curve here so we know that see here so if you consider here if you consider here f of xy is equal to xy is equal to x cube minus y uh, so the level curve for f of xy is equal to 1 that is this is the z so if we put z is equal to 1 then we get the first level curve is y is equal to x cube uh, minus 1 so to draw this level curve again we use the function here say f of x y or f of uh, x is equal to f of x is equal to or you can directly write here plot 2d plot 2d and the given function is x cube x cube minus 1 and the given range is x is equal to say minus 3 to plus 3 and you will get the first level curve the lower curve of the given function at x is equal to 1 uh, you can change here instead of minus 1 if you write here 2 or write 5 then you will get the different level curve now you will get the different level curve okay so, so you can use this command to find uh, obtain the level curve now use a graph of the function to explain why the limit does not exist so I want to show that this limit does not exist. So now, uh, here, if we consider, okay, say, if we consider here, what is given function f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to uh, twice x square plus thrice x y plus thrice x y plus Uh, 4y square divided by divided by thrice x square plus 5y square and want to show that this limit does not exist as x y tends to 0 0 now if you consider the limit along the path the limit along the path say here uh, along the path 
y is equal to mx then okay if we consider this path limit along this path then we get here uh, limit uh, uh, if we put y equal to mx we get limit x tends to 0 so here twice x square plus thrice uh, x square m plus 4 m square x square divided by thrice x square plus 5 m square x square so now this x square uh, uh, sorry here x square and x square will get cancelled here and we get limit x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 2 plus thrice m plus 4 m square divided by 3 plus 5 m square now this limit depends on value of m and therefore limit is not unique not unique and therefore limit does not exist this implies this limit is does not exist but we want to use a maxima software so if you write here f of x y x y is equal to say x y is equal to the given function is twice x square plus thrice x y twice x square plus three thrice x y twice x square plus thrice x y plus four y square plus four y square divided by on the denominator it is thrice x square thrice x square plus thrice x square plus phi y square so phi y square and we get this is the value of f of x y now again if you use your w x plot 3d of f of x y x y in the uh, range say x is equal to minus 3 to plus 3 the range of uh, variable x and range of variable y say minus 3 to plus 3 because in this range there is there is a point uh, origin point 0 0 so now if you plot here this graph you can see at this is the this is the point where at 0 0 this this limit does not exist you can check or yeah i am writing here say minus one two say minus one two plus one and the range of y is also say minus one two plus one okay now if you plot now you can see so this is the point where the limit does not exist you can see here okay so mm, for remaining point it exists but at this point it does not exist so or take simple example instead of this I, if you write here say uh, f of x y is equal to say x y is equal to 1 divided by x plus y okay and if you again use this command say okay if you use this command and now you can see okay so at this point at this point zero the limit does not exist or if you increase the range here say minus 3 to plus 3 and here so minus 3 to plus 3 and now now you can see okay so at this point limit does not exist you can see here the what is it just in okay at this point zero zero limit it does not exist so okay so the this way you can show that the limit of this function f of x y does not exist at zero zero the now next example grab the function and observe where it is discontinuous so again you can check whether this function is continuous or discontinuous by uh, by if you plot this function say take one more example say f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of 
of x y is equal to say e e x p e x p say uh, one divided by one divided by x minus y and want to check whether given function is continuous at okay uh, at our origin so now if you plot this graph you can see again this function is not continuous at 0 0 okay so you can check here this function is not continuous you can increase the range then you can you will get the when we said a function is continuous if its limit is exist at that point but you can see here that at this point at origin at origin limit does not exist okay the right hand limit and left hand limit is not unique or uh, it does not exist limit does not exist and therefore that's why the function is not continuous so instead of if you write here say x plus y say x plus okay instead of this if you write here x plus y now you can check and now okay so again okay one upon zero okay say okay instead of uh, if you change the domain here range do, uh, domain here say uh, say one two three and here also one two three you can see the graph is continuous on this domain you can see the graph is continuous there is a no okay this graph is what continuous on the given domain say here for x is equal to minus y also it is what continuous you can see uh, if you change the domain okay at one one there is problem okay so if you want to write here plus only then it is continuous because again one 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 it is will get zero so now now you can see a continuous graph okay but this is again not a continuous at origin now the next example find the first partial derivatives of the given function so what is the partial derivative uh, say say f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to y raised to 5 minus so if you find the partial derivative f of x then it is dab by f by dab by x so this is equal to uh, thrice y minus thrice y if you take the partial derivative with respect to x means what y is constant and what is f of y dab by f by dab by y is equal to 5 y raised to 4 minus thrice x so this is the partial derivative of f with respect to x and this is the partial derivative of f with respect to y but here we are going to use uh, maxima to obtain the partial derivative of the given function so again i am writing here f of x y is equal to y raised to 5 y raised to 5 uh, y raised to 5 minus thrice x y thrice x y and now if you uh, if you use the command say d i double f of f of x y okay and with respect to say variable x oh sorry x then you will get the partial derivative is minus 3y you can check here it is what minus 3y here you can check minus 3y okay so now again if you write this uh, command again if you copy paste here say and if you write here y then you will get the partial derivative is 5y raised to 4 minus thrice x you can check here 5y raised to 4 minus thrice x so now uh, if you uh, write here say 2 times so this is the uh, partial derivative of here with respect to y two times so it is f of x f of y y f of y y so this way you can find a partial derivative so the next example 
if f of x y is equal to this then find f of x to 3 so want to find a partial derivative of this function with respect to x and then put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so again if you write f of x y is equal to say f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to x raised to 5 plus x raised to 5 plus x cube plus y raised to 4 x cube into y raised to 4 x cube into y raised to 4 uh, minus pi u y cube minus pi u y cube pi y cube so this is what f of x y x raised to 5 plus x cube y raised to 4 minus uh, phi u y raised to cube now want to find a partial derivative of this function so use the command d i double f okay x comma y is equal to uh, uh, d i double f f of x y f of x y and uh, with respect to partial derivative x if you find this partial derivative we get thrice x raised to thrice x square y raised to 4 plus phi u x raised to 4 now take g is equal to g of x y is equal to say this function 3 times x square star y raised to 4 plus phi star x uh, raised to 4 so this is what g of x y okay g of x y is what g of x y is f of x and now i am writing here g of want to determine uh, g of 2 3 say here g of 2 3 comma 3 and we get we get answer is what 100 and uh, 1052 so this is the given function f of x y want to determine the partial derivative of this function at point uh, 2 3 first we obtain partial derivative of f with respect to x and then we call this partial derivative as g and then in in g uh, g of x y and we put here in the function g of x y x is equal to two and y is equal to what three so the now the next determine whether each of the following function is uh, satisfy the left plus equation u x x plus u y y equal to zero so the for example if we consider here say u x y equal to u x y say x square plus y square then the u x is equal to twice x and u x x is equal to 2 similarly u partial derivative with respect to y is 2y and partial derivative of u with respect to y uh, again is 2 so if you add this u x x plus u y y is equal to 2 plus 2 is what 4 so it does not satisfy the Laplace equation so answer is what not satisfy not satisfy the uh, uh, satisfy sorry spy the uh, Laplace equation so how to determine using Maxima software so again if we consider here f of x y uh, is equal to or uh, u of u of x y say instead of i uh, am writing here u of x y is equal to x square plus y square okay and now so this is the given function u x y now i am writing here the partial derivative of u with respect to uh, say sorry uh, the to find a partial derivative, I am writing d i double f u uh, say uh, u x. So u uh, if the function of u x y with respect to x order two. So I am going to assign here. Say this is equal to u x x. U x x is equal to so this is u x x is equal to so now if you enter okay there is an error 
so now if you enter u x x is what 2 similarly if you copy this again if you paste here and you write here partial derivative with respect to y say it is equal to u y y then you will get u y y is 2 so if you write here u x x plus u y y and it is equal to what 4 which is not equal to 0 and therefore if the given function u x y equal to x square plus y square does not satisfy the uh, Laplace equation so again we want to determine for this function we want to determine the value of f of 3 t 3 2 so first of all you want to enter this function so in maxima it's very simple to enter function so just write down here f of x comma y is equal to say sqrt square root of what is given x plus y plus 1 x plus y plus 1 uh, on the uh, denominator it is x minus 1 and now if you enter say okay here or not plus it is equal sign so now this is what the given function f of xy and just enter the value so it is f of 3 2 so enter 3 2 and you will get the answer is equal to under root 6 by 2 so, so this is the value of the function f of x y at the point x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 the next example find the extreme value okay uh, of the function on the circle uh, okay i'm going to take a simple example here okay find the extreme value use the method lagrange's multiplier extreme value so i'm right i'm going to take a simple example how to find a critical points of the given functions f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to we know that at critical points or stationary point f of x is equal to 0 or f of y equal to 0 so if you, i am writing this function 2 time x raised to 4 okay plus 2 times y raised to 4 2 times y raised to 4 um, minus 8 times x star y x star y so this is what f of x y and now uh, say first the f of x is equal to f of x is equal to partial derivative of this function of f of uh, x y uh, f of x y sorry x y with respect to x okay uh, t i double f f of x y okay. f of x is equal to d i double f okay you cannot assign here so now you can see so this is the value of f of x similarly if you write here say f of y partial derivative of y f of f with respect to y is equal to this is f of y and now if you use the command say you want to solve this partial derivative so if you use the command say solve okay f of x f of y okay and the variable is what x y if you use this command you will get uh, this many critical points but the critical we want uh, always uh, crit uh, real critical points okay so this is one solution x is equal to x is equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 1 this is the second solution x is equal to 1 y equal to 1 and the third solution is what x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so you can you can okay you can uh, by using this method you can find the critical points of the given uh, function for example if you consider the same example here say f of x y is equal to i am writing here say f of x y is equal to twice x raised to 4 plus twice y raised to 4 minus at x y 
and if you consider the partial derivative with respect to x so f of x is equal to 8 x cube minus 8 y and f of y is equal to uh, 8 y cube minus 8 x okay so the partial derivative f of x is equal to 0 is implies implies 8 x cube minus 8 y equal to 0 and 8 y cube minus 8 x is equal to 0 so 8 8 will get cancelled here we get y is equal to x cube and here we get x is equal to y cube so we want to solve these two equations so if you substitute the y equal to x cube here we get x is equal to x cube raised to 3 so this implies x is equal to x raised to 9 so this implies we get x raised to 9 minus x is equal to 0 so this implies x into x raised to 8 minus 1 is equal to 0 so this implies x is equal to 0 and x raised to 8 minus 1 is equal to 0 so this implies x is equal to 0 and x is equal to uh, 1 uh, so x, x raised to 8 is equal to 1 this implies x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 if you substitute this value okay in the equation y is equal to x cube we get y equal to 0 so x is 0 y is 0 x is 1 y is 1 x is minus 1 y is minus 1 and therefore the critical points are 0 0 1 1 and minus 1 minus 1 same critical points we obtain by using maxima software it is minus 1 minus 1 1 1 and 0 0 so thank you